This is a Math to the People video tutorial. In case 6, where we have both plus or minus infinity on the top and the bottom of the fraction, the goal is going to be to try to divide the fraction by something which is going to infinity in order to make the bottom into a finite non-zero number. The idea is that if the bottom is a finite non-zero number, we're in either case 1 or case 3, and those are both fairly straightforward cases to deal with. So yeah, our goal is going to be to find something which we can divide the top and the bottom of the fraction by, which will make the bottom into a finite non-zero number. So one of the most common things to do in case 6 is to divide the top and bottom by a power of x, like x or x squared or x to the fifth. But I'm going to give you an example of a situation which is a little bit more complicated by, than that. So the example is the limit as x goes to 0 of the natural logarithm of the absolute value of x plus 1 over ln of the absolute value of x minus 1. Now the first thing we're going to do of course is we're going to plug in 0 for x. So we get ln of the absolute value of 0 plus 1 over ln of the absolute value of 0 minus 1. ln of 0 is minus infinity plus 1 over minus infinity minus 1 Adding 1 and subtracting 1 from minus infinity doesn't change anything, so we have minus infinity over minus infinity. This tells you that we're in case 6. So what we're going to do is we're going to divide the top and bottom by something which is going to plus or minus infinity. ln x here is going to minus infinity, so that's what we're going to divide the top and bottom by. So basically, we're going to take ln of absolute x plus 1, over ln of absolute x minus 1, and we're dividing the top and bottom by ln of the absolute value of x. So dividing ln of absolute value of x by ln of absolute value of x gives you 1, and then we're going to have 1 over ln of absolute value of x. ln of absolute value of x divided by ln of absolute value of x is 1 minus, and then we're going to have 1 over ln of absolute value of x. Now we're going to plug in again. Again, we're going to plug in x equals 0, so we're going to get 1 plus 1 over ln of the absolute value of 0, all over 1 minus 1 over ln of the absolute value of 0. Now, to continue this on, what happens when we take ln of the absolute value of 0? We get minus infinity. So we have 1 plus 1, one over one minus 1 plus 1 over minus infinity over 1 minus 1 over minus infinity. Now, when we take anything divided by plus or minus infinity, that always gives you 0. So again, this is case 2. So we have 1 plus 0 over 1 minus 0, which is 1 over 1. This is case 1. Basically, this gives you 1. So, the limit as x goes to 0 of ln of the absolute value of x plus 1 over ln of the absolute value of x minus 1 is, in fact, 1. So that's it for that case in the table. Now it's time to pick which video you want to see next. Click on one of the seven buttons to go to the video for that case.